Okay, let's try a bit more complicated examples over here. So s plus 1 greater than 5. So solving means you want to solve for the unknown x. Alright, so over here let's subtract 1. Okay, so on the right hand side also subtract 1. So we'll have x greater than 5 minus 1 is 4. Okay, and this is the solution to the inequality. S is greater than 4. Okay, sometimes you'll get a question, you're asked to illustrate this on a number line. So we've already learned number line. Okay, so let's say this is a number line. And let's say I just pick some values. Let's say this is negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so s greater than 4, meaning I draw a hollow circle above 4 and an arrow pointing to the right. Alright, so this is how you illustrate. Okay, let's try the next one. 6 is greater than x minus 4. Okay, if you realize x is on the right hand side, so let's add 4 on both sides. So what do we have? We have 10 greater than x. Okay, so this is, a, this is the solution okay, to the inequality. 10 is greater than x, but usually we do not write x on the right-hand side. Okay, so if I want to write it on the left-hand side, is it x greater than 10? No, right? It should be x less than 10. Because 10 is greater than, uh, 10 is greater than x, so if I want to write it in x on the left-hand side, it should be x less than 10. Okay, so you can either write either one of these two solutions, alright? 